Hi Pisces, it's Nick. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. This is Rama Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. We are back with your weekly reading per usual. Hope you guys are doing lovely. We are finally in our season, Pisces season, so happy birthday to all of us. Let me know in the comments if you are a February baby or a March baby, or maybe your birthday is this week. We're covering the 19th of February till the 25th. And this week we do have um, of course, Pisces season, the North Node in Aries conjuncting Chiron and on the 23rd, Mercury going into Pisces and the Virgo full moon on the 24th. But I did already break that down in the February mid-monthly reading if you haven't watched that already. So if you want to hear the breakdown, just refer to that video and I'll break it down quickly there. Okay. All right. So um, I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. And then for today, we're going to, of course, go into your health, career, work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships relationships and um, instead of this last week I think we did like a Valentine's love message this week we're going to do an animal spirit message but it's a different deck I don't think I've ever used online I've had this for a while but I've only, only used it like personally but I really like this one I think you guys will like it as well hopefully all right so what else by the way I'm like really tired this week for whatever reason I think it's finally catching up to me because I've been having to wake up like at 5 a.m. for almost a month now because that's just when Skylar wakes up and pretty much you know on the clock until he goes to bed and by the time he goes to bed I'm like exhausted so I'm like very very tired but it's a beautiful day grateful and not complaining so in case you see my energy levels a little down that's why but let's carry on okay so Pisces your animal spirit message for today is coming from the dolphin. So here's the image, it's like a painting, it's pretty. All right, so the dolphin's symbolism is life, feminine energy, and sexuality. And the dolphin is associated with the feminine energies and the pre-mortal waters of life. The word derives from the Greek delphinos or womb. Demeter, the Greek goddess of fertility, was represented by the dolphin in her role as a mistress of the sea. In the painting, the life-giving and feminine energy themes are emphasized by both the swimming dolphins that frame the woman's face and the infant emerging from a womb-like nautilus shape shell. So, beautiful. Dolphins. Dolphins are so smart. They're so cute, so beautiful. Um, and I think that's like a nice, cute little animal spirit to have for us as we start our season. All right, so let's get started. All right, <sighs> Pisces, when it comes to your health for this week, we got the Emperor, Aries energy. So maybe some of you have Aries somewhere in your chart, um, or maybe you're dealing with this energy when it comes to your health. So the area of focus for this week is like your head, um, your face, your teeth. Uh, maybe that is an area you're getting something done or you, you're getting like something done with your teeth or uh, you're really focusing on, you know, fixing something with headaches possibly or anything like head, head and above pretty much. But I feel like more specifically, if it's not like a physical thing, you're like taking more leadership and control over your health overall. And you seem to maybe have a little more control, self-control, more energy. Um, or you seem to know how to maybe maintain your energy levels and direct it in a, sustain, in a sustainable way. So you may be feeling like you have more control over yourself and you're taking matters into your own hands, taking more leadership over your health, your health goals and doing things that you know you need to do and you're just taking action. So regardless, this is like a week of like action for you, for your health. So instead of just like thinking about it or reading about it or watching about it, you're actually doing something. So you're putting your head in the right direction. You're taking action. You know what you need to do. You're very focused. You're very determined and you're like asserting yourself. OK, um, and I see also that you're uh, you seem to be very motivated or like maybe more passionate about taking care of yourself, of making sure you're doing good, um, whether it's like your physical health, your mental health, spiritual, everything, all of the above. OK, um, and if and 
When it comes to like your physical body, of course, the head, the teeth, the face could be the area of focus for you this week. Okay. Um, what else? And if you are seeing someone, maybe like a doctor, a chiropractor, a trainer, or something like that, maybe this individual could be an Aries, maybe a masculine male figure in your life, or maybe there is a masculine male figure or Aries an energy individual who inspires you, is motivating you, or helping you with your health, possibly. Okay? Um, all right. So then when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, Pisces, we got here the Seven of Swords, all right? So there could be maybe some misunderstanding or miscommunication at work or at school, possibly. You want to make sure you're double uh, checking things, proofreading everything, maybe before you hit send, before you submit something, um, clarifying, double checking, like if you have a conversation or you're explaining something, maybe... I would over explain or maybe double check that that person understood what you said so that there's no miscommunication or misunderstanding of any sort. And when you're purchasing or getting something, maybe read the fine print, double check everything um, because there could be a mistake, maybe a technical difficult, technical, you know, mistake where you were charged double or there could even be maybe someone who's trying to scam fraud you know how you get those scammy calls or emails and stuff like that and you're like man do these people think i was born yesterday just things like that you got to be a little bit cautious of okay hopefully it's nothing too serious but there could be those kind of incidents where people are trying to scam you or fraud or something so just be extra aware this week or you're proofreading double checking confirming um and all that stuff okay and when you are speaking or communicating or if you have a presentation meeting training anything of that sort make sure you are uh really explaining it in a, in a clear way as much as possible or double checking that people are understanding what you're saying okay um and i would also just be careful at work or at school with like any gossiping rumors maybe try not to participate or uh say too much that could compromise maybe your that can compromise put you in a compromising position because someone could mix your words or maybe say like oh i heard pisces say this 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 and then it puts you in a bad spot or makes you look bad and you're like whoa i didn't say that or like i said that to you but i didn't think you were gonna go run off and you know say it to everybody's because there could be more like rumors gossiping stuff like that so you just want to be mindful you're not like putting yourself in a bad position or saying something to someone that maybe will repeat it and uh, make you look bad. Okay, so just be cautious of that. All right, and then when it comes to your uh, love, romance, dating, or relationships, on your side, we have the Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. All right, so some of you may have air in your chart, like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, like myself. I'm a Libra rising, Aquarius, Moon. By the way, decided to be very comfy and cozy today. It's like very cold outside and snowy, and I just didn't have the energy to try to dress up. So there you go. All right, and then on this other side, for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all the above. We have the Empress, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. So as far as who you could be dealing with, it could definitely be a Sagittarius, a Taurus, Libra, maybe another Pisces like yourself, or air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. But doesn't have to be, could be any sign like I always say to you guys. Could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. All right, so I do, I am seeing here that three is repeated twice, so I definitely feel like there's a lot of like growth, progress being made, creation um, in your life, and especially maybe with a relationship or with someone in your life that you're in, you know, together right now, or you're going to meet or whatever, but there's a lot of beautiful growth, creation, life force, um, balance being created, also clarity, speaking, communication. Uh, I just see a lot of blossoming happening. There could also be fertility here. So maybe if you're pregnant or someone is pregnant, congrats. Um, or maybe you know someone, you, you have like a friend, sibling, cousin or something, um, or you could be hearing about that. Maybe you're getting invited to or going to like a baby shower or a uh, home, um, uh, what's it called? Home warming party or something like that. 
um, or I feel like you, the someone, the person you're dealing with here is creating something or you guys are both creating something beautiful together, whether it's like your relationship, something with business, work, decorating something, something you're making. It doesn't have to be like a baby, but it could be a baby, but it could be something else. And you're celebrating something. So maybe it's your birthday you're, you're celebrating. Maybe you guys are going out somewhere, you're going on a date, or you're getting invited to some kind of social gathering, party, whatever the case is, or you guys are just celebrating something intimate together, okay? And this person is someone who seems to be really beautiful or really good looking, uh, really attractive. Maybe someone who loves uh you know just loves love loves romance music art all the fine things could also be someone who is really uh, into fashion um makeup entertainment um uh, you know always looks really good or takes care of themselves uh, maybe someone who loves children as well or wants children or maybe already has children i do also see that this person maybe could be tall or maybe has long legs they could be someone who is really into education, learning, or self-taught. Maybe they really love history or they love to learn about cultures, the world, language, uh, people. Um, someone who's actually very positive and um, spiritual as well, okay? And I do also see that they could be a teacher or maybe someone who loves to learn or um, they just, they're, uh, they're very curious about like, everything in the world like and there's uh again very like spiritual very positive optimistic just good vibes good energies overall okay and you guys could be joining a group club organization together or maybe you're creating something together or you're becoming a part of and you're working on something i feel like there's a lot of growth or you're creating something together and you're cooperating you're like on the same page you guys are understanding each other's goals each other's dreams um, and you seem to be very compatible, or at least right now, this week, you're like, your minds are uh, very kind of on the same path. All right. And this person seems to be very grounded in tune with their feelings and emotions. And you're like, okay, I know what I need to do. Let's do this. All right. Like maybe there's some planning going on as well. And it, when you have here the King of Swords and they have the Queen of Swords, so this is like the perfect match feminine, masculine. So I feel like both of you mentally are communicating really clearly, effectively, effectively with each other. Whatever you're saying, this person is receiving, they're understanding, and you're able to just like boom, 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 like you're on the same page. Okay. So this is probably a really good week to be connecting with each other or if you meet someone or you're already with someone and you guys are like really picking up the pace on getting to your goals or wherever it is that you're heading towards okay so really really great energy i like where this is going and if you were having issues with communication with someone it seems like now you guys are like being super honest transparent with each other there's no issues with communication and you your guys's mind seems to be like focused on the same thing each other and your journey okay so let's continue on in the extended link will be below We'll see where this person's situation is between what the situation is between you and your person. What are they thinking about? How are they feeling about you? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know. What their next action move will be towards you and then your advice. All right. So we'll continue on an extended link will be below. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you for your next reading. All right. Take care. Bye.